The Toyota RAV4 takes its place in automotive history as the first ever crossover SUV. It was introduced in the United States in 1995. It's basically what would happen if the Suzuki Samurai and Toyota Corolla had a bastard child. Unlike the small SUVs before that had a chassis, the RAV4 has a unibody based mostly on the Corolla. The first generation included two-door models, and some even had a soft top in the back. The RAV4 used to be small, fun, and great off-road before they turned it into a stupid grocery getter. My name is Paul Shpakov, and in this video series, I'll be fixing up my 97 RAV4 to make it as awesome as possible. I recently bought a 1997 Toyota RAV4. I feel like this is one of the coolest vehicles ever made. This one has the short wheelbase and two doors, also all-wheel drive and a manual transmission. I feel like this vehicle is way too cool just to keep to myself. So I'm going to make a blog and show you all the cool stuff I do with it. Maybe I'll do the suspension lift. Maybe I'll do an engine swap. You'll just have to watch and find out. On the outside, it looks pretty good from a distance. Once you get closer, you notice some, some of the paint's peeling. This is fairly common on the old RAV4s. I got lucky and it actually has really nice wheels off a of Nissan, almost new tires. Looks really good all the way around. It even has a fresh spare tire. And the interior is in excellent condition. Look at those nice cloth seats, no tears. The dash looks fresh. It has 149,000 miles. The back seat area looks pretty good. And these back seats even recline. Check that out. That is sweet. I can get a decent amount of space like that. Let's start it up here. Runs all right. And it has working air conditioning. That is awesome. Nice and cold. The engine doesn't look so hot. Nice and dirty. But it runs, so it's a solid start. Like a responsible adult, I went out and bought insurance for it. So that's good. Took it in to get the emissions test done. And boom, got rejected. <laughs> Story of my dating life, right? The exhaust downpipe has a leak, so I need to fix that first. I ordered an exhaust downpipe from AutoZone online, so this shows up at my house. Next challenge is getting all these fucking stickers off. I mean, fucking seriously, really. With the hard part all done, I can go ahead and put the RAV4 up on jack stands, get that plastic cover off, and start by putting a little bit of PB blaster and unscrewing those exhaust studs. The impact wrench makes this much easier. And that last stud didn't actually come out, so I'm gonna pry a little bit, get the pipe off of there. And this pipe is bad, look, it's just, it's just broken. I'm gonna rip it off. All right, let's get that out of there. Yeah, that's bad. All right, I wanna get that last stud out, so I'm gonna heat it up with the torch, use the vice grips, and no love, didn't move at all. So let's clean it up a little bit and get the welder out. And I'm gonna actually weld the nut onto the stud so that way I can just use the impact wrench and it will come out with the stud theoretically. A little bit of PB blaster. All right, and that, that came out, great. A little bit of PB blaster in the back. Hammer that socket on. Impact wrench, good, good. We got all the bolts out. All right, now I got the pipe off. I'll go ahead and grab that fancy new pipe, stick it in the hole. I'm gonna use a jack stand to support the front of the pipe. This is gonna make my life a little bit easier. Put a new gasket in there, brand new bolts. I'm actually gonna leave the back bolts just a little bit loose and I'll come back and tighten these later. I'll get the front bolts up in there. I'm using lock washers and anti-seize on these, so make sure they don't unscrew themselves and also they don't get stuck. So I'm gonna get these nice and tight. We'll start it up, all right. And that's a lot quieter than it was. That actually sounds good. And back to the emissions place. Come on, baby, you got this. I passed the inspection and after a quick trip to the DMV, I got the plates that I wanted. Now I can drive.